Well, you know what they say, size does matter. What's going on everybody? This is Jay and this is my unboxing of the Legal Shark 1. This device was provided by the website coolycool.com. I've been holding this phone for over a week now and let me tell you, I already took a sneak peek inside of the box. And yes, it is quite huge. As a matter of fact, other than the LG G Pro 2, this is the second largest device I ever unbox in my channel. Well, looking at the box already, it is quite simplistic. We don't have a lot of stuff on here. As we can tell, we just got the Lego uh, logo on there. On the side is plain, even on the bottom is plain. We don't have any specifications listed here whatsoever. Now, I'll be giving you guys the specifications as we unbox this product. And actually, after the unboxing, first of all, let's go ahead and take a look here at the device itself. And yes, the box is a little bit tight. All right. Maybe it's because we have a big product inside. Everything is tighter now. And here we have the product. So on my left hand side, obviously, we have the phone. Very well packed on here. Then we find the manuals. And these are all in English. And they have a style similar to the ones used on the iPhone. And these are the manuals, as we can tell. And they do come in Spanish and also English, okay? So here we have the warranty guide as well. This time it looks uh, quite professional in my opinion by this company, Lego. They're not very famous out there. They're trying to put a name on the brand, of course. And I think they're doing it because this device has a very good battery of 6,300 power milliamps. Now this is also the largest battery that I've seen on a smartphone. I know there is a Yukitel, I think it's the Yukitel 10,000, which has a 10,000 power million battery, but that I own, this is the largest battery I've ever seen on a smartphone. So let me go ahead and take this divider out. I'm not sure what we're going to find inside here, maybe some covers and stuff. Let me see, actually we have here the USB cable, and I can tell that this is the micro kind. So we're not going to have the USB type C. Uh, next, we got here some sort of wipes for a screen protector, what appears to be, and that's all we have inside of this box. Next, we got here some earphones. Let me go ahead and check the quality. And so far, I can tell they look uh, just standard quality. Nothing too special here. They could be a little bit cheap, who knows. But uh, yes, this device is only $167, so we really can't expect a lot of uh, expensive accessories. Next, we got here a wall charger, which I think is humongous. Let me check that out. And yes, this wall charger is quite big, which means that with about 30 minutes of charge, you should be able to go throughout the whole entire day, according to the company. It doesn't mean that in 30 minutes it's going to charge. It means that with just 30 minutes of charge, it should give you enough power to go through the entire day. So here are the specifications of the charger. It's giving us the output of 5 volts, 7 volts, and 9 volts. I guess that it's going to regulate itself depending on uh, what's needed on the device. So it is a 1.5 amps. So the charger already looks quite okay to me. Again, the size is super huge. Let me see if I have something here to compare. And I think I do. So this is a, uh, a regular SD card and comparing it with it we can see that the charger yes it is very very big so putting this aside we know that inside of the box we have nothing else so let me put it away so that we can talk more about the legal shark let's get started so getting a closer look at the legal shark one we can tell already that i can barely grab it with one hand and yes this is going to be most likely a two-handed device and here just to compare, I have my Blue Vivo 5 that I just reviewed and we can notice guys that the size is quite different, especially on the width. Look at that, it is almost an inch uh, thicker, I would say, in my opinion. So yes, this is very, very big. And if I forgot to mention, it has a 6300 power million battery. On the top here, we're going to find the five megapixel sensor camera. We also got the proximity and light sensors actually on the right hand side. So this could be maybe a notification LED light. I will have to confirm that with you guys on the review video. We have the ear speaker on the bottom side here. We are not going to see any buttons whatsoever. They are going to be located pretty much on the operating system, but we have to confirm that as well. On the left hand side, we have the SIM tray, very similar to what we saw on the Blue Vivo 5. On the upper side of the phone, we're going to see the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack together with the IR blaster, which is something that has vanished on many devices. And it's actually something that I uh, truly miss. I mean, when I had my Samsung Galaxy S5, I did use it, I mean, not too often, 
but sometimes let's say I was a little bit lazy or maybe I couldn't find my remote control something happened I will rely on the Samsung Galaxy S5 and even the S6 so on the back here we have a 13 megapixel sensor camera with the LED flash we have a fingerprint supposedly is the version 3.0 so it's supposed to be a lot more accurate than any other fingerprint that we've seen from this company that's very interesting we had the loudspeaker, then on the right side we had the volume rockers up and down together with the power key and again they are separated here so they are easy to distinguish which one is which, which is definitely great. Then on the bottom side there we had the main microphone, we also have the charging port which is the micro kind and that's pretty much it guys. So let me see if I can remove the screen protector because it is a little bit scratched up as you guys can notice so I'm going to try to remove it right now. And there we have it so this is the true color of the LCD and I can tell that there are some scratches already on there according to Cooley Cool, they sent me a unit that was a return or something I'm not quite sure but uh, yes they ran out of inventory or something happened I'm not sure but I think I got a pre-owned device but it doesn't really matter as long as it works so let me go ahead and power it on and see what we are going to be greeted here with and here we have the Lego logo that kind of rhymes and I think I'm pronouncing this correctly. I'm not sure. But yes, I think it comes either with the Android 6.0 or 5.1. I really can't recall because uh, I was actually relying on the box, thinking that it had the specifications. That's my fault. I do apologize. But uh, I do know that it comes with the MTK 6753. It has 3GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage. And I also believe that it comes with the Mali T720. So let me go ahead and skip all this crap here. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi later on and you guys are going to see this on the review video. This device definitely deserves a review because it's one of the biggest devices I, I ever had. So again, other than the LG G Pro 2, this is the biggest phone. And let me tell you, it's quite interesting. So let me just skip all this crap. So you guys can see there's uh, a lot of stuff to see. So enjoy now. Go ahead. Let me enjoy this phone. And there we have it. Now the first thing we can see here from the lock screen is the time. You also have the date, the quick camera toggle, and on the top you have just the battery uh, meter on there together with the time. When we unlock it, we are going to be greeted here with the operating system and we can already tell right there that we have the back key, the home key, and also the menu key. So we can put this down by just tapping on that little arrow. To get it again, you just swipe from the bottom to the top. And right now it has a very dark launcher on here, which uh, I'm really not liking a lot, but I'm pretty sure that I can change this at any time. Um, let me see if you have any app drawer. And no, it doesn't seem like we have any app drawers this time, so you guys can tell. And it does come with a Play Store. It does come with the remote application. That is obvious because, again, we do have an IR Blaster on here, which is definitely great. And yes, the battery on this thing is so huge and so powerful that you can also use it as a power bank. Now the Android, I think it's going to be the Android 5.1. Let's go ahead and uh, confirm that here from general. Let's go into about, and then yes, we do have the Android Lollipop on here, which is okay for me. I really don't have any issues with this operating system. I mean, I would really love to have the Android Marshmallow, but at least the Android Lollipop, again, doesn't bother me at all. Okay, so here is the Play Store. Let me download the Antutu Benchmark. And if I forgot to mention, this is a Full HD display. It has a resolution of uh, 1920 by 1080. So here is the Antutu Benchmark. I'll download the uh, 3D stuff later. We don't need that just to get the specifications. For right now, I won't be providing the scoring. So here is the uh, brand. You got the model, the operating system. It has the MTK6753 Turbo. It comes with the Mali T720 like I suspected and also the resolution is 1080 or 1920 by 1080. 13 megapixel camera, so on, so on, and of course all the sensors supported. So that's pretty neat. And this device, I think it comes with hot knot. I'm not 100% sure, but if it doesn't, the price point is only $167. So I really cannot expect much from the phone. And uh, pretty soon we're going to check here the camera, but yes, we do have the hot knot capabilities on this device, which is definitely a plus. And now let me go ahead and check here the camera, which is another important aspect. So here it is. Right now it's a little bit blurry, but maybe it's because the lens is uh, dirty. Let me shoot a picture to the charger with the autofocus. This was just a quick picture. And there it is.
okay but uh, again guys I will clean the lens and do a better testing on the actual review this is just a basic hands-on so yes this is my unboxing of the Lego Shark one and if you guys are into big phones this is definitely something that you might want to take a look at um, of course I haven't tested the fingerprint I haven't tested a lot of uh, of the components on the phone I just got it in my hands so this is just to give you guys an overview of what I am getting and what is coming very very shortly so if you have any questions you know exactly what to do leave your comment below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more and again if you have any questions just leave your message below and I'll see you on my next one